players had never seen before. We upgraded with broad strokes using Lumen, Nanite, and other UE5 tech. We worked directly with the engine team to improve these features and ensure they scaled on all platforms Fortnite ships on. First up was lighting. Now, our options in the past to improve lighting have been somewhat limited because Fortnite is a really dynamic game. Big lighting just doesn't work because the moment a player destroys a wall, light maps are invalidated. So we were really excited to give Lumen a shot. It updates global illumination in real time as the environment changes. Early in Chapter 4 development, we captured a video of Lumen enabled in a Fortnite test build. And the player in the video destroyed a wall, and, and light just came flooding into the room. And honestly, it was pretty stunning. It brought new life to the environment, and the realistic bounce light worked great with Fortnite's vibrant style. While initial results were exciting, you know, nothing is that easy in game dev. And as we discovered, real-world lighting can create real-world problems. Playtests revealed areas of the map, like attics and basements, that uh, had no windows and were just too dark for gameplay. And it was also the first time we were using auto exposure, and it was causing bloomed out areas when players were in dark interiors looking outside. We solved these issues using UE5 features like local exposure and some art directable controls within Lumen that enabled us to provide a final image much better for gameplay. While the art team refined content, the engine team provided some new scalability options so that we could run Lumen on next gen consoles at 60 frames per second. In addition to lighting, Nanite opened the door for us to add an incredible amount of detail to the Fortnite island. It was introduced in UE5 as a virtualized geometry system that supports extreme mesh complexity. So we spent some time experimenting, looking for a good balance between stylized art direction and detail so we could increase visual quality but still maintain Fortnite's uh, iconic style. Now that artists weren't limited by triangle counts, we scaled our content pipelines to um, support Nan on high-end hardware. Tech artists modeled new vegetation assets, and the art team created some uh, high-detailed props and some amazing hero assets. But this still left us with a large building library that needed a visual upgrade. We resolved this using an offline process that took displacement maps from our materials and created high-resolution nanite meshes. It was really cool to see these classic Fortnite materials like brick, stone, and wood get a high-resolution facelift and pop off their surfaces. Now, past nanite demos have relied on static hard surface environments, but Fortnite's an animated world. Trees blow in the wind, and buildings wobble when hit. So we worked with the Nanite team, and they extended the material pipeline to include masked and animated materials on Nanite geometry. The island in Fortnite is constantly evolving, with major changes each season and complete reboots when chapters launch. So it's essential that we evolve our workflows too. During chapter four development, we started utilizing two new UE5 features that changed how we build levels, world partition and one file per actor. World partition automates the level streaming, and it allowed us to work in one large level. We use level instance actors to group content logically, like a building and all of its props. One file per actor ensured our large dev team could work in this space without source control conflicts. Now, these features hadn't yet been put to their paces by a large dev team, so there were some early bumps in the road. But RLDs were in daily communication with the engine team, and we saw consistent improvements. Not long into production, we were developing Fortnite in a much more collaborative environment. Our goal for Chapter 4 was to deliver an awesome experience to our players. But we also hope by using and improving the engine's newest features, we've improved your experience as well. Now, with a look, with a look at the amazing work developers are already doing in UE5, Please welcome Dana Cowley.